Hello, hello, hello. I am author and entrepreneur, the cerebral palsy, vigilante, Zachary Finnell. Tis the season, so let us sing. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, I'm kidding about the singing, but I do want to take time to talk to you today about Rudolph. In particular, I wish to address an important lesson about disabilities we can learn from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That lesson is, don't blend in, blend out. Now, as long as this isn't the first time you've come across me, you will know, don't blend in, blend out, is the call to action I like to put out there. However, when you think about it, the story of Rudolph embodies this message too. Rudolph didn't blend in. His shiny nose, a nose you might say even glows, made Rudolph different from all the other reindeers. The same way cerebral palsy makes me different, and whatever disability you or your loved one has makes you or them different. Due to being different, Rudolph was bullied, being called names, and excluded from activities, often referred to as reindeer games. However, that very difference, which made Rudolph the target of bullies, is also the very same thing which would leave Rudolph to blend out, leading his once bullies to call his name out with glee because they recognize Rudolph was going down in history. What changed? One foggy Christmas Eve, one person, Santa Claus, saw Rudolph's difference, not as a negative, but as a positive, as an asset. Suddenly, Rudolph's red nose didn't make him stick out, but instead stand out, enabling him to excel. Now, there might be some Grinches out there who are saying, Oh, but Zachary, that's not everyday life. Get real. To those Grinches, I would respond, Oh, but this is real. I did not just start saying, Don't blend in, blend out, because I think the phrase is clever. This is something I learned from my life's experiences. As of recording this, I have written and self-published two books. First, Off Balance, my cerebral palsy memoir detailing my emotional journey from being embarrassed about being different to learning to embrace my differences. My second book, Rock Realities, is a compilation of interviews I conducted with independent musicians. Guess what? Despite rock realities having more potential mainstream appeal, Off Balance has been at least 10 times more successful. Why? Because my first-hand experiences with cerebral palsy are unique to me, providing me a certain credibility, and that credibility is an asset. Anyway, this goes beyond me. My ninth and 10th grade English teacher turned friend, Adam Swarsky, comes to mind. Swarsky has a learning disability and in college studied advertising. In a video you will find in my channel, Swarsky talks about how his learning disability 
forced him to think differently. And his ability to think differently proved an asset for him while getting his degree. Swarsky and I are just two examples to show the lesson about disabilities contained within Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is a real applicable lesson. Help prove the point further. In the comment section, share how you or your loved one's disability has proven an asset in your life. While down below commenting, do also hit the thumbs up icon and let the world know you enjoyed today's video. For more from me, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have rung the bell icon to receive notifications every time I publish a new video. Until then, remember, don't blend in, blend out.